Ave's epoxy sculpt um, on Starship Modeler. Everybody's nuts about it, and I know why now because it's really great stuff. So those are in there. They're all going to come out, and then guess what? Those blinking LEDs. Okay, I'm going to try to use these. Now I'm not going to have the whole cockpit blinking like a Christmas tree. Just a few here and there. And I'm thinking probably red because I finally found a name for this diorama, this build. It's going to be called I Got a Problem Here. The scene when Porkin says, I got a problem here. Okay. Got a problem here. So we'll have a few red ones flashing because those are normally associated with alerts. I'm going to try to just show you kind of how this looks. Now it's not going to be all the same blinking color. Okay. <laughs> blinking. Uh, let's try some red ones here. Right? So that's the direction direction I'm going. So your number three, number three. Here's how I handled the voting, and thanks to John Lester at Starship Modeler for his advice on how to handle voting. Also, uh, go over to Starship Modeler. He's got a cool new contest running on not on the moon, but to the moon. So uh, check that out at StarshipModeler.com. Cool. Um, so your number three. Number three. Number three, which wins a uh, Nerd Herd poster and the super cool mini clamps, is entry number four. That's right. The ESS Eggs Calendar. So I know a lot of you guys will recognize the Death Star base from the AMT TIE Fighter set. You get two TIE Fighters. And I guess 151 scale, something like that. Um, yeah. So here's my idea for this thing. Uh, in the scene with Porkins, they're always flying screen left to right. So I'm going to do it that way, which is kind of not usual, I guess. A lot of times things are the other way, but I plan on mounting this with like a wooden base at about 45 degrees, okay? And then having him not square. Like, I want to try to depict some kind of action, or I want to have it to be dynamic. So he's going to be flying across the Death Star at an obscure angle. Okay? Now, I know this ain't the best in the world, but it's done. It's here. I don't know. I might... If I go and start trying to build Death Star tiles, I've got reference, and Wolfgang did a great set of those, too. I don't know. So far, that's the deal. That's the plan. Okay, so we're down to two. It comes down between the Egg Drone and the Egg Star under construction. Now, the thing is, as soon as I tell you who second place is, you know who the first place is, right? So I'm going to go over the prizes again. Second place wins a Nerd Herd poster. Super cool mini clamps and a toque. First place wins a poster, super cool mini clamps, a toque, a t shirt of your choice in your size. You also win the mini hobby punches, the cylindrical parts holder, the little square parts holder, and the roto tool. That's a big prize. So, the first ever scale model addict nerd herd extravaganza first contest. Second place goes to entry number three. So Wolfgang's pilot. It's awesome. It's great. He's thin. It would make a great Luke or a Wedge or, you know, anybody other than Porkins. Now last week I shot some footage and didn't it didn't make the edit but I think I'll show it to you quick here. I tackled sculpting Porkins. Very chunky monkey. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to get as 
it's hard to do a good job for sure, especially the first time around. So at the end of the day, that's what I got. Uh, chubby monkey. Now I'm not going to let this build stall while I try to sculpt a figure. I know that's like a major, a major skill to learn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the skinny Jim and use him in the build, but I'm going to keep trying to sculpt, you know? I didn't get it right the first time, I failed the second time. I was talking to my son this week and uh, talking about stuff like that. He just turned 10. And I had this I had this good piece of wisdom come to me from the Lord. And it was this. You try to do something like build that canopy or sculpt the figure and you fail. And then you try it again and it screws up the second time. And you try it again the third, the fourth time. You know, and the Lord said, you're not failing, you're practicing. And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to keep practicing sculpting a figure. I'm going to finish the red six with this dude. And when I finally, it might be a year from now, get a, get a chubby Porkins figure, I'm going to replace it with this guy. I'm not going to glue him in. I'll just set him in there, maybe a little blue tack on his butt. And that's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? So eventually, if I keep trying, I'll sculpt a decent Porkins figure, and then I'll know how to sculpt figures. Okay? Um, so enough of that. Let's get back to the contest. Three, the egg drone. You get second place. Send me your address. That means the winner is entry number 13, the egg star under construction. Congratulations. Congratulations to everybody. Uh, honorable mention goes to Egg2D2. Number three goes to ESS Excalibur. Number two goes to the Egg Drone. And first place goes to Egg Star under construction. Thanks again, uh, everybody. Number one, two, and three, please send me your mailing address. And in the case of uh, Egg Star under construction, let me know if you want a Nerd Herd or Scale Model Attic t shirt and what size. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this week. I didn't get a whole lot done on the Red Six. It's been just one of those weeks, man. Just wide open at work and wide open family life and wide open this and this. <laughs> it's been busy. Um, Sean also asked for a virtual tour of the Man Cave. Okay, let's do that. <laughs>